So I'm going to show you how to make a real quick Google Meet um, to try to restrict students from quote unquote hanging out in there uh, before your Meet starts and after your Meet ends uh, as much as possible. So I am in Google Meet and I can access it through the waffle or just meet.google.com and I'm going to join and start a meeting. Now when I join and start this meeting it asks you to give it a, a nickname. You must give it a name here. Um, it will let you leave it blank and hit continue, um, but the best chance of keeping kids from being able to log back into it are to give it a nickname. So again, I could call it something like office hours or, um, you know, check in, whatever you want to call it, and then hit continue. And then from here, it's going to say, do you want to allow uh, it to use your microphone and camera? I said, okay, and then I'll hit dismiss. And I'm going to get my meet. Now from here, uh, I am ready to join my presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and hit join. And right here is the information that I want to get to kids. So this right here is the link to uh, my Google Meet. I could highlight it and hit Command C. Or I can simply click this copy joining information. But that will copy all of this information. Um, so I like to just take this link and then Command C to copy it. Once you've closed this window, if you need to get back to that, uh, this little office hours button down here brings open that same meet information. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this meet. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna send this meet to students, but I can't post it now, otherwise technically a student could hop in there with another student and they could have their own little uh, party going on before a teacher get involved or uh, you could have your meet and then you could leave and they may stay in there after you've left or rejoin after you've left and hang out for a little bit. So I would uh, highly recommend that you create an assignment or create a, so a post in your Google Classroom to give out that link. So I could go to classwork um, and I could hit create here and I could create material. And then in here, I'm going to say um, Office Hours Google Meet. And I could give it a description if I wanted to. Um, maybe I'll put here is where you will find the Google Meet link. Period. All right. Now, I could post this assignment or this material. Or I could hit this little right triangle next to it and I could schedule this. So I could do one of two things here. I could uh, post this right now and do not include the link to my Google Meet. And then maybe right before that meeting, I could go ahead and edit this, this post. Um, so I could post this as is. It shows up on my, uh, my stream right now. Here it is. And then right before that meeting starts, I could go in here and go to edit. And then I could add a link and then paste that Google link or Google Meet link right in here. Here it is. And then save five minutes before my meeting starts. And now students would be able to click on it and join it. Or if I wanted to, uh, I could create uh, that assignment excuse me, material, set it up exactly the way I want. Uh, and in this right triangle here, I could schedule uh, a time for it to go live. So I could schedule this time to be at a specific uh, day and time that this, this post is going to show up in my classroom. So I could prepare the whole post. I could call it uh, my office hours, and then I could add my link to it and paste it in there. Uh, but then go ahead and schedule when that is going to show up the exact time that it shows up in their Google Classroom, which I would want probably again about five minutes before that meet starts. Now, the only caveat there is if I want it to go to multiple classes, the schedule option is grayed out. It only lets you schedule uh, a Google Meet for one class. I can't do a scheduled post and have it go to multiple classes, which means I would have to do it for each one, which is kind of a pain in the butt. I know. I could save it as a draft, 
Also, again, it's going to stay here, and whenever I'm ready to go online, here it is as my draft. I would just open it up, hit edit, and then post, and then it would go live uh, whenever I want that to start. So once that's happening and I have in my meeting, all right, my meeting is going on, and that meeting is taking place, uh, I want to make sure that all of the participants, which will show up up here at the top, I want to make sure everybody has left before I hang up. So I want to make sure everyone in here, when my meet is over, um, you wait for everybody to hang up before you hang up. All right, so no, you hang up first. No, you hang up first. No, you hang up first. Make sure that they have hung up before you actually go down and hit the hang up button. Um, if you hang up before they do, then they can still hang out in there and still chat. Um, now, once this is done, big thing, go back into classroom and remove this post. Um, so once they have kicked themselves out of that meet, um, if you go in and hit these little three dots and delete these posts um, that were showing up, then the kid will no longer have that link uh, to the meet. Or you could go into the post and simply remove the link from it and hit save. All right, so basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to limit the amount of time that students have access to the link. So you want to try to give it to them at a specific time and then pull it away from them as soon as you don't need it anymore. Yes, this is a big pain in the butt and it's not as easy as it should be, um, but it's the only option to try to prevent kids from hanging out in there uh, doing stuff they're not supposed to. So hope that helps.